Peter, Brooklyn, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Peter. Hey, Leo. How are you? Uh, I'm great. How you doing? Good, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. I have the Note 5. Okay. And uh, also... You haven't iPhone stuck 6. the pen in wrong, have you? No, thanks to you on Mac. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> did kinda, you, did I, you I, laugh I, out loud when, when you saw me uh, do that? I felt bad. No, when you couldn't get it out, I felt bad. Oh, man. It was like um, that. You can see the video because we do video of the show, and it you can see me visibly like shocked, like oh, it did it. Yeah, and I'm surprised they didn't, didn't help you at AT and T. That's the oh, you know, I didn't expect them to help me. Truthfully, I I, I kind of knew that they would say, "Well, you put it in wrong. It's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't put it in upside down." So don't put it in upside down. But do you like the phone? I do. I actually like it a lot. Yeah. The thing is, though, Leo, I um, my girlfriend has an iPhone, and uh, the other friends that have an iPhone, uh, they text me and it goes to iMessage. I know. I when hate I this. And you're and you're a green bubble. Right. Well, when the oldest, I don't even get them. Yeah. I, I uh, okay. I can help you with that. You must have had an iPhone at some point, right? Well, you know what it is. I have an iPhone six plus. Yeah. And I'm like. A, I kind of like I'm not the the master tech guy like you, but I uh, I switch in and out. Like, so yeah, so the same system. thing happens to me. That. So Apple keeps track of this in in the context, but I think they even beyond that they keep track of this. If you're an iPhone user, when somebody even if you don't use it all the time, when somebody sends you a text message, it will go to messages, which means you won't be able to read it on your Android phone. It does not go to an SMS phone number. Right. So And now so I, there's a couple of things to do. The first thing to do is get your girlfriend to change your contacts and don't have an iPhone number in there for you. I tried that, but then do I have to clear the recents out from the text messages itself? No. Then the next thing is Apple actually has made a page for, for people who want to opt out of messages. Uh, and it's really for those of us who were iPhone users and went to Android. So you can deregister and turn off iMessage. Now, you have a problem, and I have the same problem, because you still want to use an iPhone. Exactly. And this is why I find it very annoying uh, that Apple has created a messaging system that isn't truly cross-platform. So if you go, and I'll put this, just search Google uh, Apple deregister iMessage, and you'll get this page, and it gives you instructions. You can actually enter your phone number, have the press a button it'll send a confirmation code when you enter that code then you will no longer get iMessages when your girlfriend or anybody uses iMessages to send you a message it will go as a text message okay and then let's say I switch back to the iPhone then you're then what happens? <laughs> it'll be green again <laughs> you, you're gonna stay green for the rest of your life uh, there's a first stage if it says if you still have your iPhone follow the steps below to turn off iMessage uh, and it involves, by the way, going not only to messages, but FaceTime. Apple, grrr, grrr. This is not a good solution. Uh, I don't know if you uh, have heard me talk about Telegram. This is uh, around the world. People don't use SMS. They message each other using uh, Internet-based messaging apps like WhatsApp. That's why WhatsApp sold to Facebook for $22 million. Um, I think it's even more now. I think it went up because of the stock went up. So uh, they don't use SMS because it costs money in many countries to send a text message. They prefer these internet-based, data-based messengers, which messages is, but sort of. If they think, if Apple thinks you're on an iPhone, then it'll use data. But if Apple doesn't know, it says, oh, he's not an iPhone user, then it'll send it as a text message. That's kind of what you want when you're on your Android device because there is no messages for Android. Apple should make a messages for Android, if you ask me, but they haven't. Uh, so I, if you can convince your girlfriend to use a messaging app, then all will be golden. You will be part of the world. You'll no longer be one of those green bubble guys. You'll be a, an equal. <laughs> and I, that's, I love Telegram. I use, I've been using Telegram. Uh, your girlfriend will like it, too, because it has stickers. You can send each other cute stickers. There's tons of stickers. It allows group messaging. It allows totally secret chat, too, which is nice. Even the folks at Telegram, if you use the secret chat feature, even the folks at Telegram can't see your messaging. 
Some people like like to know that. You know, you figure if you're using WhatsApp, well, Facebook's seeing everything. Uh, I really like Telegram. It has a lot of other features, including the ability to create bots, mechanical uh, Telegram users that do things automatically. There's one to send you graphics, the image bot. Um, I have a bot. I have the chief twit bot. That's my mechanical Leo that tells you when there's a new podcast or when I've gone on the air, things like that. So I, I would see if you can convince your family or friends to move to another messaging platform. A lot of people use Facebook Messenger. And then you'll all be equal. Unfortunately, Apple is not has no desire to make Android users equal. In the Apple world, you will never be equal because you use the other guy. I think that's shameful, frankly. Okay, so that's the way to do it. Google deregister, uh, what was it? Deregister iMessage, and you'll find this. Apple page. They had to make this page because people were just so upset about all of this. I've told a lot of people about uh, Telegram. A lot of people are using it. There's some question about how secure it is. I, I wouldn't worry about security particularly. If you're a, if you're a Russian spy, use something else. But <laughs> if you're a normal person, it's sufficiently secure. And I like it. It's it's a fun platform. If only I could get my kids and my, and my <laughs> I got my wife using it. If only get my kids to use it. That's the problem with all of these messages. Everybody's using something else. Most of us have a folder full of messaging apps because Joey uses Facebook Messenger, Sally uses WhatsApp, Jimmy uses Telegram, Harry uses GroupMe. They're just they're all different ones. I wish we had. Just could all agree on WeChat or Line or something. 